Leap Day is February 29th, and that happens on our calendars once every four years. So why do we have Leap Day once every four years? Why not every year? That's because of Earth's orbit around the sun. It takes 365 and one quarter Earth days for Earth to completely go around the sun to make one year. So that 0.25, that quarter day, what do we do with that? For three years, we ignore it. And then every fourth year, we add four quarters, one whole day, back into our calendar. And it was added to the shortest month, February, which is where every four years we get February 29th. However, the Earth's orbit around the sun is not exactly 365.25 days. Earth actually revolves around the sun in 365.24219 days. So one full day added into the calendar every four years is a little bit of an overcorrection. Every hundred years on the century, we don't have that leap day, so we take it back out. But then every four centuries, every century divisible by 400, we add that leap day back in. So all three of those corrections make the mathematical adjustments so that we can stay steady across our year. And winter is always when we think it's gonna be. Pope Gregory decided that a more accurate calendar needed to be created so that the seasons would always stay in the same months. Earth, tilted on its axis, revolving around the sun, creates our seasons. And we expect those to happen during certain months of our year. If we don't correct, winter and snowfall will start happening in November and then October and then September if you let years and decades and centuries go by without accurately correcting for what's really happening in astronomy. Earth doesn't go around the sun in a nice even 365 days. So sometimes those decimal points are really important. I really hope you all have a great leap day this year. Do something fun with it because it's an extra day in the calendar that we only get once every four years. Happy Leap Day, everybody.